Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today is Thursday, December 14th, 2023. Today we're going to recap the college basketball from yesterday, as well as the NBA and NHL. Look ahead to everything today. Same for soccer. We have Thursday night football tonight between the Raiders and the Chargers. A terrible game. The Masked Singer, News and Notes, and Best Bet. College football, I'm sorry, college basketball is where we'll begin. Um, we will go over the results from yesterday and look ahead to the game today. College football will do tomorrow. Um, Presbyterian over Mid Atlantic, 118.51. Rice over Incarnate Word, 80.57. Howard over Region, 88.49. Princeton over Bryn Athen, 92.40. Stony Brook over Norfolk City, 84.48. Or 84.78. Number 15, FAU over FIU, 9460. Dartmouth over BU, 6356. North Alabama over Charleston Southern, 7664. App State over Queens, 9381. Toledo over Marshall, 8887. Mississippi State over Murray State, 8581. Little Rock over UTSA, 9384. Chicago State upsets number 25, Northwestern, 7573. Yikes. Longwood over Milwaukee, 8067. UAB over Alabama AM, 9382. Arkansas State over Louisville, 75-63. Yikes. LC over Alabama State, 74-56. Auburn over UNC Asheville, 87-62. McNeese over Southern Miss, 67-48. Louisiana over Eastern Kentucky, 73-62. Liberty over Tennessee State, 74-52. You know, if you have number eight, Creighton, 79-64. Wow. Number 18, BYU over Denver, 90-74. Eastern Washington over Portland Bible, 103-34. San Fran over Seattle, 62-59. Nevada over Weber State, 72-55. And Utah State over Santa Clara, 84-82. Another light slate tonight. The slates are light now because there's finals going on, so it's to be expected. Saturday's going to be busy, though. Um, 5 o'clock tonight, Trinity Baptist, Jacksonville, 6-3. Bethany, West Virginia, Youngstown State, 6-3, 7 o'clock. Big Ten Network, Jacksonville State, number 23, Wisconsin. My line for this is Wisconsin by 22 and three quarters. This game got moved from 8 to 7, didn't it? Because now I'm out of order from what I had written down. Um, 20 and a half and 125 and I follow the points of Wisconsin. Furman Tulane. My line is Tulane by 12. And it's 7 half at 172 and a half. So that's a high total, but I'm laying it with Tulane. St. Mary's of the Woods, Morehead State, St. Augustine's Campbell, Cumberland, Kentucky, Northern Kentucky. We can skip all those. The Citadel, Charleston. My line is Charleston 13 and a half, and it's 13 and a half and 148 and a half. I'm over. East Carolina, Florida on the SEC network lines. Florida by two and three quarters, and it's 14 and a half and 151. I'll take East Carolina getting all the points. Birmingham, Southern New Orleans, we could skip. Um, that's at 7.30, 8 o'clock. Fox Sports 1, St. Thomas against number 7, Marquette. My line's Marquette by 18. And it's 25 and a half and 139 and a half. I'll take the points of St. Thomas. Next up, Grambling Drake. My name's Drake, 18 and three quarters. And it's 22 and a half and 144 and a half. I'll take Grambling plus the points. Mayville State, South Dakota State, we can skip. And then Yo Monroe, Lamar. I have Lamar by two and a quarter, and it's two and a half and 143 and a half. I'll take the under in that game. Okay, now I'll move on to the NBA. Um, we'll go over the results. From yesterday, and look ahead to tonight's games. We have seven tonight for a Thursday. That's a little busy, but for a Thursday, and no TNT games tonight. Sixers over to Pistons, 129 111. Pelicans over to Wiz, 142 122. Heat over to Hornets, 115-104. Raptors over to Hawks, 135-128. Rockets over to Grizzlies, 117-104. Bucks over to Pacers, 140-126. Lakers over to Spurs, 122-119. LeBron did not play. Nets over to Suns, 116-112. And the Jazz over to Knicks, 117-113. Or 
All right, tonight, 7.30 NBA TV, Celtics hosting the Cavaliers. My line is the Celtics by 8.5 till 223 and 17.20ths. But TNT's been Tuesdays lately. So that makes sense. But um, usually um, there's less games than this for Thursday. Um, 9 and 226. Under. Bulls Heat. My line is the Heat by 13 and 3 quarters. So 223 and a quarter. And it's 4 and 217. Oh my god. I love the Heat. Minus the 4. That's ridiculous. Um. 8.30, Timberwolves, Mavs. My line's Wolves by 6 and a quarter, total 227 and 17.28. And it's Dallas 1 half, total 230 and a half. I'm going to take the Timberwolves plus the points in plus 102 to win. 9 o'clock, Nets, Nuggets. My line is the Nuggets by 12 and a quarter, total 227 and 19.28. And it's 9 and a half and 229 and a half. Um, I'm going to lay the 9 and a half with Denver at home. 10 o'clock, Jazz Blazers. My line is the Blazers by 2 and 3 quarters, still 225 and 7 tenths. And it's 3 and a half and 226 and a half. This is a tough one. I'm going to do slight under. Thunder Kings. My line is the Kings by 3 quarters, still 233 and, and the fifth. And it's 1 and a half and 244 under. Last but not least, 10.30 NBA TV, Warriors, Clippers. Minus the Clippers by 6 and 3 quarters, so 227 and 3 twentieths. And it is 5 and a half and 229 and a half. I'm going to take the under in that game. All right, now I'll move on to the NHL. We will go over the results from yesterday. And we have a large window tonight in hockey. Penguins over to Habs, 4-3 in a shootout. Devils over to Bruins, 2-1 in overtime. Isles over to the Ducks, 4-3. Abs over to Sabres, 5-1. And the Jets over to Kings, 5-2. All right, we have eight games tonight, so it's not a, that big of a slate. 7 o'clock, you have the Leafs against the Blue Jackets from Toronto. Leafs minus 240, Jackets plus 195, over under 6.5, overs minus 134, unders plus 110. Jackets plus 1.5 is minus 115, Leafs minus 1.5 is minus 104. I'm going to lay with the Leafs. I like how they're playing right now. Um, Caps, Flyers. Flyers minus 137, Caps plus 114, over under 5.5, overs minus 122, unders even money. Caps plus 1.5 is minus 215, Flyers minus 1.5 is plus 176. Um... I'm going to go Capitals outright, plus 114. 7.30 on ESPN Plus and Hulu, Hurricanes, Red Wings. Canes minus 166, Red Wings plus 138, over under 6.5, minus 10 each way. Canes minus 1.5 is plus 138, Red Wings plus 1.5 is minus 166. I'm going to go with the over. 8 o'clock, Sens, Blues. Sens minus 111, Blues minus 108, over under 6.5, over is minus 132, others even money. Sens plus 1.5 is minus 198. Or minus one half is plus one ninety eight. Blues plus one half is minus two forty five. I'm gonna lay it with the blues at home. Minus one oh eight. Maybe it turn coach bump. Flames wild. Wild minus one sixty two. Flames plus one thirty four. Over under six and a half. Overs plus one oh six. Unders minus one thirty. Flames plus one half is minus one seventy eight. Wild minus one half is plus one forty six. I'm gonna take the over. Nine o'clock lightning oilers. Oilers minus 160, Lightning plus 132, over under 6.5, overs minus 118, unders minus 104. Lightning plus 1.5 is minus 182, Oilers minus 1.5 is plus 150, I'm going with the over. 10 o'clock, Panthers, Canucks. Panthers minus 118, Canucks minus 102, over under 6.5, overs plus 102, and there's minus 124. Panthers minus 1.5 is plus 198, Canucks plus 1.5 is minus 245, um... I'm taking Vancouver at home, minus 102. I'm surprised they're not favored. And last but not least, Blackhawks, Kraken. Kraken, minus 230. Blackhawks, plus 188. Over under 5.5. Over is minus 140. Others, plus 112. Blackhawks, plus 1.5 is minus 137. Kraken, minus 1.5 is plus 114. That's a tough one. Um... 
I'm going to go over one and a half first period goals, minus 118. All right. Now move on to Thursday Night Football. We have the Chargers at the Raiders. AFC West game. Um, Really, really terrible game, if you ask me. Um, Justin Herbert, Corey Lindsley, Joey Bosa, Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, Keandre Miller all out for their respective teams. My line is Raiders by 12 to 39 and two fits. And it is three and a half and 34 and a half. I'm laying the three and a half with the Raiders. Um, and I don't care. I love it. Um, I do not think that the Chargers quarterback, Easton Stick, is going to cover three and a half. Um, I think Aiden O'Connell will play well enough. Hopefully Devontae Adams plays. Hopefully Josh Jacobs plays. But I think the line's three and a half for a reason. And the reason being that the Chargers have a ton of injuries. So I'm going to lay the three and a half with the Raiders. It's even money, by the way. Okay, now move on to soccer. Um, We will go over the notable results from yesterday and look ahead to anything going on today. We'll start the Champions League. Group stage ends. Um, RP Leipzig over Young Boys 2-1 Man City over Red Star 3-2 Atletico over Lazio 2-0 Antwerp over Barcelona 3-2 Dortmund PSG 1-1 draw Celtic over Feyenoord 2-1 So best bet loses FC Port over Shakhtar 5-3 And Milan over Newcastle 2-1 Um, UEFA Women's Um St. Poulton and Slavia Pergu, 0-0 draw. Barcelona over Rosengard, 6-0. Lyon over SK Brand, 3-1. And Benfica over Eintracht, 1-0. All right, four games today. 12:45 Paris, FC and Real Madrid. Bayern Ajax, 3 o'clock Chelsea, BK Hacken, and PSG and Roma. ELC, Birmingham over Cardiff, 1-0. Coventry, Southampton, 1-1 draw. Lee Sester over Millwall, 3-2. Norwich City over Sheffield, Wednesday, 3-1. QPR, Plymouth, 1-0-0 draw. And Hull over Borough, 2-1. All right, we have um the end of Europa League group stage day. We have a ton of games. 12.45, you have Leverkusen and Molde. Um, Leverkusen's minus for three. Molde, 7-1. The, the draw is plus 470. This is Group H. Um... I'm going to go with over three and a half goals at plus 112. FK Carabag and BK Hacken. This is also Group H. Carabag's minus 88. Hacken's plus 650. The draw is 4 to 1. I'm going to go with. Carabag minus one half goals at plus one sixteen. Las Glins and Toulouse. Also twelve forty five. This is Group E. Wins plus one twenty five. Toulouse pseudo one. The draws plus two thirty. I'm gonna go with Toulouse at two to one, outright. And in Rand and Villarreal, this is also the same group. Oh, no, it's not. That's a lie. Rand and Villarreal is group F. 
two best teams in Group F, too. Ryan's minus 105, Villarreal plus 250, Draws plus 260, we can go with Ryan's minus 105. AS, Roma, and Sheriff. This is Group G. Roma minus 600, Sheriff's 14 to 1, the draw 6 to 1. I'm going to go with the over 3 and a half goals at plus 166. Slavia, Pergu, and Servette. This is Group G. Slav is minus 250. Servette is 6 to 1. The draw is plus 360. I'm going under 2 and a half goals at plus 114. Union SG and Liverpool. This is group E. Um, Union SG is plus 15. Liverpool is plus 190. The draw is plus 270. This is crazy. The Union SG is favored. In this spot. And they always say there's a reason they're favored. But guess what? I'm taking Liverpool. Plus 190 outright. They're better than Union SG. Panathinaikos and Maccabi Haifa. It's the last of the 12:45 games. This is group F. Um, Panathinaikos is minus 170. Haifa is plus 490. The draw is plus 270. The draw is plus 270. Three o'clock, Ajax and AEK Athens. This is group B. Ajax minus 135. Athens plus 320. Draw plus 380. Withdraw plus 280. Aris Limassol and Sparta. This is Group C. Um, Aris minus three ten. Sparta minus one thirty five. The draw is three to one. Um, I'm gonna go. With the, the, that's a tough one. I'm gonna go with the draw three to one. Rakow and Adelana. This is group D. Rakow's minus 105. Adelana's plus 260. Draw plus 240. Go with Adelana plus 260. Brighton and Marcial. This is Group B. Great game, by the way, too. Brighton minus 150. Marcial plus 350. Draws 3-1. to I'm going to go. With over 3.5 goals, plus 148. Batiste and Rangers. This is Group C, the best of Group C. Batiste minus 115, Rangers plus 280, draw plus 260, and go with Batiste minus 115. Sporting and Sturmgaz. This is Group D. Sporting minus 115, Strum is plus 390, the draw is plus 290. Going under two and a half goals plus one oh eight. Olympiacos and TSCBT. This is group A. Olympiacos minus four ten Bacas ten to one the draws plus four seventy. We've got the draw plus four seventy. That's overvalued. Olympiacos is, is a favorite. And last but not least, in uh, 
Europa League, West Ham, and Freiburg. This is also Group A. West Ham minus 120, Freebird plus 280, draw plus 270, go with the draw plus 270. I do not think we have anybody else left. Oh, we do have one left. Liga MX, first leg of the final, Tigras in America. Be a lot of fun. You have the one against the three. America's been the best team in this league all season long. Um, so good for them. Um, they're they start on the road. They're plus 170. Tigres is plus 160. The draws plus 220. I'm going to go Tigres in game one of the first leg of plus 160. Yeah, so everybody else plays Friday and over the weekend. All right, now we're going to recap last night's episode of The Masked Singer, the Group C final. It was an interesting episode, of course. Um, it was soundtrack night. So, contestants sang their favorite song from a particular soundtrack that they liked. Um, first up was Candelabra. Um, there was a package with angels. She said that, um... She walked away from a relationship and had a family. Um, she performed them going down by Mary J. Blige. Um, the panel's connection this time's theme was mixtape. And they came out with little tapes. And Candelabra said party jams and it was for Nicole. Industry party. Um... Nicole said to more Braxton and Keisha Cole. Ken said Chili and Robin said Don Richardson of Dan and Kane. Um, Anteater was next. Um, there is a record with a kiss on it. A four leaf clover, lefty. And this contestant saying Johnny Be Good by Chuck Berry. The mixtape connection. It said Deep Thoughts. And he said he had a great conversation with Jenny. Ken said Paul Stanley. Robin said Jackson Brown. And Jenny said Stephen Van Zandt. And then Donut went last. Um, There's a coffee cup. There's a dragon. Maybe there's a Busta Rhymes connection. Um, and Donut performed... George On My Mind by Ray Charles. And he actually performed the song with Ray Charles as well. And then the mixtape connection um, was for Robin, Poker Night. And he said it um, on repeat when hung out with his dad. Um, Robin went with Tom Jones. Jenny said Bo Duke and John Schneider. And Nicole said Engelbert Humperdinck. First unmasked was Anteater. My guess for Anteater, John Cougar Mellencamp. John said, or John Robin. I don't know why I wrote John. It was just a typo. My bad. Robin, Jackson Brown, Nicole said John Cougar Mellencamp as well. Ken with the terrible guest of Billy Joel. And Jenny said Stephen Van Zandt. And it was John Oates of Hall & Oates. This was an absolute shocker. Um, No one saw this one coming. Um, One of the bigger surprises of the season on the show. Um, 
So, the panel was all wrong. This is the latest I can remember the panel being wrong about a guest in a while. So, it's always fun to see surprises like Anteater. So, really fun. And the irony is that um, Hall and Oates have a song called Maneater. Um, so that's just crazy that he was Anteater, and Maneater is Anteater. That is something else. Um, um, Battle Royale. Um, Hunter Hayes, who was the astronaut in the COVID season, performed the Wanted. Um, he performed the song himself. And then Donut performed it, and then Candelabra performed it. And who moves on? The Donut. The Donut really came through tonight in a big way. So Candelabra gets the boot. My final guest was Brandy. It was just the vocal sounded like her. Nicole and Robin went with Keisha Cole. Jenny said Brandy. And Ken said Kelly Rowland. Not bad, Ken. That's actually not bad. I disagree with Robin. And it was indeed Keisha Cole. So Nicole and Robin were correct. Um, Nicole's been hot lately with their guesses. Robin, I think this is the first time Robin's been right all year. Robin hasn't had a good season for himself even Ken's gotten more right than Robin this year. Not saying a lot. Ken's got a lot right this year for him. I feel like Jenny gotten the few right. Nicole's gotten the most right. Nicole's the best one on the panel. Like she pretty much gets the most. Robin used to be that, but now it's Nicole. But Robin finally gets on the board this season. So, um, Ken Labra out. And your finale will be Donut, Gazelle, Cow, and... Um, uh, Sea Queen. So it's going to be an, an awesome finale next week for sure. Okay, now move on to the news and notes. For today, um, we will begin um, in the NBA. Um, there was a, shuff, a scuffle in the Pacers Bucks game. Um, Rick Carlisle says that the team wanted to give the game ball to a rookie who scored first NBA points. Um, so that was just a weird scuffle in that game. So a lot of turmoil going on with the Warriors. Um, Shams reveals that the Warriors offered Clay two years for forty eight million before the season. I would have taken that, and even that's a little bit of an overpay for Clay. And then Clay Thompson agreed to Steve Kerr's decision to sit him in crunch time. Um, and Draymond out indefinitely as he's suspended for a second time the season after hit to. Yusuf Nurkic. And then Draymond is to receive um, uh, you're supposed to uh, receive a uh, flagrant two foul for striking Nurkic, and then um, the NBA takes into account Green's repeated history of unsportsmanlike acts, so it's an indefinite suspension. Second one this season. And the NBA also says he'll be required to meet certain league and team conditions before he returns to play. 
So, like I said, tumultuous times for the Golden State Warriors. Um, the Celtics and the Bucks unlikely to trade as they are expected to be active in the buyout market. Um, the Knicks bring back Taj Gibson on a one-year deal with Mitchell Robinson out. Um, that's a depth piece. Uh, he shouldn't even be seeing time on the court. He's swashed up. The Suns' big three debuted against the Nets last night. But they lost. Tiffany Hayes retires 11 years with the Dream and the Sun. So congrats to her on a good career. Um, football. Both New York quarterbacks right now, Tommy DeVito and Zach Wilson, earn Offensive Player of the Week honors in their respective conferences. That is really cool for those guys. Zach Wilson had the big second half against the Texans, and DeVito had the game-winning drive that led to the field goal against the Packers. Um, really, really cool. The DeVito story is incredible. Just my um, suggestion to Giants fans, enjoy the ride um, while it lasts. Um, we've seen this in New York a lot. Jeremy Lynn being the best example of an underdog story. In New York. Um, but this DeVito thing really started to remind me of Tebow. When the Broncos went on the, the run in 2011. And Tebow brought them back into the mix. And then they made the playoffs. But the difference is that Tebow was a first round pick by the Broncos. Tommy DeVito is an undrafted free agent. That's the difference between the two. And it should be a fun weekend ahead. Um, the NFL to play a Brazil game next season, so that's interesting. And the other big thing that came out of the meetings yesterday is that the owners who award SoFi Stadium uh, the Super Bowl in 2027. So that would be... Um, Super Bowl 61. Arthur Smith likely safe, barring a late season collapse. The tush push ban rumor denied as NFL executive Troy Vincent said the league is not looking to ban Eagles' signature play. How about this? Big Ben calls out the Steelers. He says maybe they're the tradition of the Pittsburgh Steelers is done. Oof. Yikes. Um, so TJ Watt will play against the Colts after he clears concussion protocol. That's good news for the Steelers. We talked about already Keenan Allen out. Um, Justin Jefferson is going to play against the Bengals. That's good news. Yannick Ngakwe out for the season. He broke his ankle against the Lions. That stinks for the Bears defense. Um, more Browns defense injuries. Grant Delphitt, a uh, great injury out four weeks. Agbo, Akinwako, with the peck injury, maybe out for the year. That's not good for the Browns, whose defense was outstanding the first half of the year. Kyle McCord out on Nebraska as he says he'll be moving forward with his recruitment after the visit. Texas quarterback Malik Murphy tells the Longhorns staff he's transferring. That's not surprising. They have a deep quarterback room there. Um, the NCAA temporarily banned from enforcing restrictions on multi-time transfers from playing immediately. That's not great. Um, Ohio State players recall Kyle McCord's unfair treatment. He goes, you're expected to throw for 4,000 yards and 50 touchdowns. Um, They're not wrong um, with the uh, unfair treatment. All right, some baseball. Um, how about this? Shoya Otani can 
opt out of the mega deal if um, the Dodgers owner or president of baseball ops leaves roles. That's insane. And then Shoyo Tani set the Fanatics all-time record sales within 48 hours of the Dodgers jerseys. Shoei Otani was at the Yamamoto pitch, as well as Mookie Betts and Freddie Freeman. That's an, that's oh, an old boy. Um, the two teams most likely to sign Cody Ballinger are the Cubs and the Blue Jays. Um, we'll see who lands him. The Blue Jays, you think, are desperate. Um, how about this? The Major League Baseball plans a new prospects game as the league is to have best prospects from every team to face off during a spring trading series. So that is something new that the league is trying. All right, last but not least, my best bet of the day brought to you by FanDuel. Um, yesterday's was a loser. Um, I'm going to have best bet, and then I'm going to lay with the Raiders, but that's not going to be best bet. I'm going to lay a tenth of a unit on best bet. It's in the NBA. I'm laying the four of the heat against the Bulls. Um, Bam's back tonight. Um, The Bulls, as we know, are not a good team. It's only four points in Miami's home. And they're getting Bam back tonight. So I'm going to lay the four of the heat. I bet against them last week against the Raptors. That didn't work out. I'm going to bet on them this time. Against the Bulls. So Miami minus four. Against. The. um, Pathetic Chicago Bulls. Will be my best bet. Of the day. Alright so that's it for today's show. I'll be back. Tomorrow with the Monster Friday show. We have Fab Five, we have College Bowl Picks, which is going to be a ton of fun. And then we have the FCS semifinals to do and the Celebration Bowl. So an extremely busy weekend coming up in college football and in college basketball as well as NBA, NHL, and soccer. And hopefully we'll get Survivor in there as well. Have a great day, everybody.